Hello. Hi. Welcome to our office. Thank you. Last, uh, we are coming to our office after 10 years. Yes, almost 10 years. Yes. <laughs> Maybe close <laughs> to 10 years. Close nine, to, nine, nine, nine close to 10, 10 years. Now, for the benefit of our future migrants, Hi. just briefly introduce about yourself. Yep. I want to ask you some questions about your life in Australia. Yeah. Um, my name is Avinash, uh, Avinash Avalaskar and me and my family we migrated to Australia in 2008 for on permanent residency and I, now we are on citizenship. Right, with yeah. So I went as a tool making tool designing guy and now I'm in tool design engineer. Mm. So, not tool design basically, it's a design engineer, it's right. mechanical. Um, I will. Right. Now I am having 2-3 questions for you. One, this question is now see you was working here as a tool designer. Basically, a technical yes, person. Yes, absolutely. What kind of life was here when you used to work here? Mm. What kind of salary? What kind of your saving potential then? And social dignity while you was here. Now you are in Australia. Yep. I want to ask you this question. What is the this parameter? How these parameters has changed? It's definitely changed. I can say that for sure because uh, basically, uh, if a Companies, private industries, mostly technical field is mostly private industries, right? Or maybe few of government industries, mm -hmm. but uh, stresses for yet obviously I had that those. Mm -hmm. And you have to be always on toes. In, in fact, I have to say that I have struggle with this, which is maybe all right for, for your progress, but at the same time. Comfortably, the Ekhani Ghost was the same. That was my intention. Of, right, uh, and right. luckily, I was there in Australia for a couple of years on a business visa mm -hmm. for tool designing. So I like that uh, environment over there, right. the working over there. They are all on first name basis. Nobody yeah. actually talks on. Even your boss is yes. very friendly with you. Yeah, we, we, we said we just have a cup and a cup of coffee sometimes. Uh, he comes to us and he just chats with us. So. It's very friendly. Right. They are friendly, definitely. And, That's for and sure. And work-life balance. Um, there is compulsory five days week. That is, which is, it's a dream for all <laughs> private industries <laughs> over here. Definitely, government industries they do enjoy um, uh, Saturday, fourth Saturday and second Saturday mm -hmm. working. But definitely, mm -hmm. when I was in here in private industry, I won't quote the name, but uh, definitely I was very much. We were so stressed, like going on first shift, coming at coming time, uh, returning time was not fixed. But now I can, I know we have a flexible hours. I can work from home. Right. Uh, and, if I want to. Right. Yeah. And another important thing is now most of the migrants are looking for earning better salary and saving good yeah. money. How is your experience? Um, roughly speaking, I was telling a few of my friends as well, it's about threefold. Means if you are, like Indians are very conservative in a way, we don't spend like what <laughs> Australians really spend. Mm -hmm. uh, there are so many temptations but if you really stick to your goals you can save really good money. Means like working three years in India is equivalent to almost a year working over there. That's exactly. Definitely. And another thing, now you are rich almost 35-40 uh, years of your age? Yeah, 50. 50 years. I'm 48, 40, now, uh, yeah, 50. now you are having your colleagues here. Yep. One important thing is about the children's education. Now, when you are reaching around 50, your children must have reached around 10, 12, at graduate level also. Yeah. So, India is a huge country. Population is almost 135 crore now. Yeah. So, the opportunities are comparatively very, very less. Yeah. So, how you find your children's opportunity, those who are in Australia? Um, opportunities for kids is definitely um, good prospect because many of the Indian students are coming there for studies, higher studies, MS, Kartat, Mana, good leg. But definitely if you are in Australia and your kids get Australian education from big, from beginning, if you are a newcomer, like just newly wed and newly married and starting new new family, you definitely have uh, an advantage over there because having basic education from there is definitely an added advantage. But at the same time, um, it's it's equally um, equal potential like what we experience over here um, same field graduation you can go for medicine you can go for engineering right, right. or there are so many options over there uh, they are good in IT they have, they have better in uh, infrastructure and, in, and then non conventional energy exactly. which is which is an increasing exactly. increasingly popular right, right, uh, right. then wet medicine you have got wet option 
you can uh, you can be an advocate there's so many options open and it's, it's good it's, right. it's, and I basically mean, less competition definitely <laughs> that is that is yeah. another important yeah. last question tell me some incident of your life in australia in the last 10 years that really touched your heart um yeah there was there was one which like i was just uh, driving past a free on a freeway which is uh, almost 120 kilometers from my road mm -hmm. and i had an issue with my with, with my car and i i was really worried i couldn't actually communicate to any any most of my friends were almost 300 kilometers away mm -hmm. so um, there was a, there is an option on the freeway which, which like there is a telephone connection you just pick the cradle and then it is directly connected to an another way is a is a institute which actually helps you if it's anybody who is stuck on the on the freeway okay. so they immediately responded i didn't have the membership then then they just got my uh, primary details and they said okay we are we are sending you an uh, an escort and uh, there will be a a car who will look after your car if there is a measure we will drop you at to your destination we take we'll pick your car we'll take you to the ne next nearest service station and they did that with maybe just just took membership on phone with nothing i didn't have anything with me then and everything was done afterwards so they trust you basically that's what my they, they, they trust you because they trust you at the first instance you they even even for jobs they don't ask for any um, certificates first you join the job you start your work be comfortable they make you comfortable and after that at some point of time afterwards in six months time you are free to give them your certificates so all your certificates and everything they trust you first that's the best thing what i have liked about Australia. trusting people they are taking you on your face value yeah, and then exactly. again you are means you feel that they are doing such a wonderful treatment to me how i must i must give my best to them yeah absolutely that is important avinash i'm really thankful to you for yeah. visiting our office Thank and you. sharing your insight about life in australia Thanks. I'm wishing you all the best. So many of our friends are there. Thanks for that. <laughs> I really appreciate it. That's why I, mean, like, yeah. uh, I want my... <laughs> yeah. My... Right. Yeah. I'll definitely help. Yeah. Just please. Yeah.